<laughs> what is the tea, honeybee? It's me, Candy News, and bitch, I'm finally on YouTube. Y'all have been asking me and dying, begging, and pleading for me to come out here. And the bitch has been busy. You know, season 13's on the air. But finally, I'm here. I'm so excited. This week on season 13, it was the makeover challenge. And um, as you can see, I was already made up by my best friend, Mick. So of course, I was gonna bring Mick on the channel as my first video and the first collab. Like, duh. Hi. I'm so excited to be your first video. Me too. I know, you were so busy you weren't able to do YouTube, but somehow I made the time. Somehow you made the time. I've just been busy in books. <laughs> Oh my God, how are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited. I literally just painted Candy's face over on my channel. And now, hopefully, if you guys saw mine, you clicked over here. And if you didn't, make sure you click over there and head over to Mick's channel so you can see the bitch paint the bitch. Uh, <laughs> and I'm so excited to get painted like Candy. I can't promise you that I'm a great makeup artist or a good one. Um, nonetheless, it'll be a journey. <laughs> it will be a journey. So let's get into it. Mm. Okay, so actually, you know what? The way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do like an upgraded version of what we did on the set, mainly because I don't remember exactly what the hell we did. But I do remember that we glued your brows down. And I'm, I'm sure y'all have seen people glue their brows down a million and one times. There's nothing different. So we're gonna go do this real quick and we will be right back. So the brows are glued down. And the way I do my makeup, I usually start off with my eyebrows. But since we glued down your brows, we are going to do a little bit of foundation. Actually, you know what? No lies. I'm gonna sketch your eyebrows out on top of your eyebrows, just like that. I'm gonna give myself a challenge. Probably shouldn't do that, but here we are. Let's do it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna trust myself on this one. <gasps> Maybe I could draw your brows in with this. I've never done it. Okay, so I'm going to map out mixed eyebrows with a little bit of dip brow and a little oh, yeah. angle brush. Let me straddle this. I love when a clown does my makeup. Oh my God. So, we're gonna hold our breaths and uh, pray that this works out. That's a gorgeous brow. Ooh. Ooh. There was one time th these photographers in New York City hired me to do their makeup for Halloween as the Boulay Brothers. Oh my God, I made them look so terrible. Like, <laughs> Boulay Brothers, I am so sorry. Hello, uglies. <laughs> I can't believe they went as the Boulay Brothers. Okay, so you know what, when it comes to eyebrows, I always say like, make a mask and clean it up later. Slap it on and let's go. Trust the process. And that's what I tell myself, just so that I can make myself feel better. No, I do the same thing. I feel like it's easier because you don't really know what's going on at first, you know? Yeah, and I definitely don't know what's going on with these brows, but you know what, it's fine. Okay, so now we have, see, you see these brows? They're nowhere near even. They look crazy. But I promise you they're about to look so gorgeous in like three minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little concealer and cut these brows. There was one time I was doing this girl's makeup at my job at Sephora. She was like, I want natural, like very, like she was doing like her, like what are those photos you do when you're getting married? Engagement photos. Yeah, and, she, and then she was like very natural and then I finished and she looked like a doll, like a porcelain doll. She cried because it was, she, that's not what she wanted. Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah, she took it all off. No, in store? Mm -hmm. Ballsy bitch. One time at Ulta, they dyed my hair purple by accident, and I said, Oh my god, I love it, thank you. And I left and cried. I couldn't even tell them that I did By wrong. accident? <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I can't tell people that they did wrong, especially when you're an artist. <laughs> These are the brows right now. They're sisters, they're there. I always say trust the process. And once we blend in the eyeshadow and put a hat on her head and glasses, It'll be fine. <laughs> After we literally cover everything, you're gonna live. Honestly, you know what? I'm not even mad at them. Yeah. Now, we are going to do something that you don't do often, and it's put on your foundation your regular color. Oh, I'm scared. Her. So now we are going to do some foundation. And listen, I'm the kind of bitch where I like to get it on and go. I, I know people like to spend hours on their makeup. Not me, baby. Let's get the shit on. Let's get it popping. Let's do this. And even on the show, because we are on a time crunch as well, I was like, bitch. I'm not spending all this time on your makeup because wow. I'm a gag. And they're like, all right, queens, 10 minutes. And I'm still on like foundation. Ooh. Is makeup your favorite part of drag? I don't know if makeup's my favorite part of drag. You know what my favorite part of drag honestly is? Mm -hmm. Getting out of drag. The same, I think. Actually, no, that's actually a lie. Because getting out of drag takes so much effort. Mine is definitely the makeup. I mean, obviously, for me. I just like love experimenting. I could just wear a straight black wig every day, and if the makeup is different, it's like, 
She's so different. I don't want to get foundation on your gorgeous Candy, candy Muse, Muse jerseys that you can get on mybestjudy.com slash Candy Muse or slash Got Mick for this gorge band t-shirt. Mybestjudy.com slash collections slash Candy Muse, actually. Oh! <laughs> Honestly, I think, like, getting you as a partner on, in the challenge was so scary to me because as a makeup artist, like, when other people do your makeup, you're like... <laughs> What is this bitch gonna do to me? Yeah, right. I'm great at makeup on myself. Mm -hmm. And I can do like dainty women, like smoky eye, like makeup, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when it comes down to like drag makeup, I just would prefer not to do that on someone. Yeah. I. <laughs> I feel like when um, you were painting me, I was so excited because you do like such stamped, gorgeous makeup. But I was also like, I'm about to look like the only woman. Which well, is not my favorite thing to look like. Um, so I was like, here we go, buckle up. But I just like trusted the process and I'm so happy how the it process. turned out. Yeah. Um, so now we're gonna do some little contouring, cream contour. Just, you know. Also, it's harder for me because like, my face is just like a beauty mug. I don't have like this like, I mean, you know a candy mug when you see one. But it's not like this like, Trixie Mattel, Got Mick, like Bianca Del Rio, like you know that that's their mug. So when like doing the transformation on Mick, I was like, Fuck. okay, like I'm just gonna have to make Mick look pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What a challenge. I'm pretty. We were also like psychopath conspiracy Oh my God. Okay, but to be fair, Denali had a fucking binder full of like every challenge that's ever been done on Drag Race, every episode, what we're gonna, like we were, we were so bad. I was like, I don't even remember what I ate for breakfast today and Denali can tell me like what I wore walking into the workroom down to my shoelaces, like. So far, what has been like one challenge that you were dreading coming in here? Going into it, I was really scared of snatching. Like I was, I mean, I just feel like everyone in the world is scared snatching of snatching. Snatching is scary. I feel like you could ask a drag queen who's like not even going into drag race and they would have anxiety thinking about it. It's just like an intense moment. And when you get the call, it's like the first thing you think about too. Well, and I feel like even like if you never auditioned for Drag Race, like you know which like character you would want to do if you ever got on a Drag Race. Yeah. and so On a Drag Race, on a Snatch Game. Before the show, I had not unlocked that carefree, funny vibe that I learned to have on the show yet. So I was like, yeah. uh oh, this is not gonna be good, mama. And I've never done celebrity impersonations either. Have you? I have not, I, that is not my forte. Okay, wait, when drag queens are always like, well, I do a lot of celebrity impersonations. I'm like, where? Where? Like, what? I don't know, in New York City, we don't do celebrity impersonations. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't know where all these like celebrity improv shows are that I've been missing, but <laughs> please let me know. <laughs> and I could do Snatch Game every day. I would love that shit. Well, you won, so. so did you ever think you would win Snatch Game? No! Uh, I still am gagged, like I just can't. Honestly, me too. Bitch. <laughs> Were you scared of Snatch Game or anything? I was terrified of Snatch Game. I don't do celebrity impersonations, and you know coming into Drag Race, there are three things you're gonna do. You're gonna do a Snatch Game, you're gonna do a ball, you're gonna do a performance, like this. A Rusical. A Rusical. Snatch Game is not like the ticket for me. I was like, oh baby, here we go. So now we've highlighted, before we go really in, I'm gonna go in and some more, more some more white. I see queens that take like four or five hours. I'm like, girl, four or five hours of doing what? Look at how blender you are. Work, it works for me, and now we have a good base. So bitch, let's set it and forget it. There's a little trick Mick taught me on set. Well, not really a trick, it's just, I just like, I've never like powdered with like a beauty blender. Oh yeah. I just like really pressed it on. Yeah, I don't have time to get a new powder puff and shit. Like, mm-mm. Look after me, love. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I used to be so fucking rough with my clients at Sephora. I used to be like, look up. Thank you. Literally me, so. Oh, so gorgeous. So fab. Such amazing, like, artistry, realness, mama, angel, sickening, downhouse boots. Oh my god, thank you. Oh, I'll say about myself, but you too. Doesn't this smell so good? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna bronze the beauty up using a bronzer. Are you contour? I don't contour. Then don't use it. No, but I use I, I use contour powders as like bronzers. Hmm. Well, this is a bronzer. I'll use both. Period. When you do your own makeup, do you only use translucent powder? Yeah. 
I got into this really bad habit of needing like three different colored powders. No. I know, I don't know why, because I never used to do that. I only used to use translucent, and now I'm like, I need banana and vanilla, and I need a darker, and I'm like, what the hell? When it's all the same shit to me. <laughs> uh, when did I start that? Oh my God. What would happen if you set your um, face with cocaine? You look so stunning so far. Okay, you did that kind of fast. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some eyes. Yeah, Ooh, the fun, fun part. A little fun part. I did like a little blue moment on you with the red lip. The blue and red lip combo like gives it to me. It gives She's me like hooker vibes. Classic. Yeah. It's like a Violet Chachki original too. Mm-hmm. And you love Violet. I do love a Violet moment. So first I'm just gonna go into the eyebrows and just like highlight the eyebrow. How did you feel when you um got me as a partner? <laughs> Were you scared? I wasn't scared more than I was like Oh my god, like, what are we gonna do? Because mm -hmm. we are two different sizes, and, and now we have to make each other up, and now I have to, like, look for something that's gonna fit Mick in my closet. And now Mick has to look for something that's gonna fit me in her closet. So it was like, oh lord. Yeah, that was a memento. It was that kind of situation where it was like, okay, do or die. I feel like day one getting there, we just, like, clicked. I wasn't nervous to, like, be in a, a, like, partner with you, to be honest, because I was, like, me and Nick are really, like, really good friends. Yeah, I don't even remember, like, when that happened. I feel like we just were, like, yep. <laughs> I think it was just, like, from day one, and being quarantined at the hotel and just being on set, like, oh, my God, finally we get to, like, be around people. Yeah, and I just needed, like, the loudest angel, and you were her. And I was her. Look at that. Okay, let's go to the eyeshadow. Thank God. So, I don't know about you, but I start off with my little highlight on those eyebrows. Ooh. I like to do my eyebrows last just because my eye shape is so unpredictable. I literally never know where it's gonna go. What a question of highlight on this brow. Okay, now I'm gonna take some blue. And I'm just gonna do like an updated version of what I did on you on set. When did you decide you wanted to do like really pretty drag? Cause I feel like you started and you were a bearded angel now. So I was in Chicago um, when I had my beard and I remember uh, Aja looked at me and she was like, why don't you just shave your face? <laughs> and I was like, what? What a defining moment. Yeah, she was like, just shave it. And I was like, oh. And I did. You never looked back. Well, then I saw how pretty it looked and I was like, oh my God, I'm not going back to being a bearded queen. Did you bleach it? No, no not then. No, bitch. Yeah, honestly, I was like going through some, the thing is we were in quarantine and I didn't think that we were gonna be going away for Drag Race. I was like, oh, like, I went to the woods, the shrooms and bleached my beard. Like, I was like, I'm gonna go find myself. And then I got to call it out on Drag Race. Did I was you like, find yourself? No. Okay. She's still lost. I'm still lost. <laughs> <laughs> I like when the eye juices wet the brush. Mm -hmm. and it really makes the pigment stick. What's your favorite memory of us? My favorite memory of us? Where do I start? Hmm. I think, you know what? One of my favorite memories was like when we first met, I thought you were a fucking bitch. Yeah, I love that too. I remember because we were sitting in um, Untucked, that first episode, and I was like, I was like, so girls, this is gonna happen next, and this is gonna happen next. And you were like, oh, you just know everything. <laughs> I was like, um, bitch. Well, was I wrong? That gorgeous shape. What a stunner you are. Michelina Muse. How dare you? I'm just sending that just because I'm gonna have some glitter. Were you scared I was painting you? Um, no. I was I definitely was like trusting that you were gonna kill it because I know you're like 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 we were saying, literally more of a certified makeup artist than I am. But I know your makeup is just so womanly, and so I was like, I'm literally going to get flung into womanhood right now, and that's not my favorite look for me. So I was like, okay, just buckle up. And I like, thank God, like your personality is the way it is, though, because if I had to act like a little girly on stage too, I would have been like, uh-uh. Oh no. I'd have been like, I'll send myself home. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna do some liner. Telling it. It's a really simple, easy eye. You can do it at home too. Mm -hmm. Just follow along. Liner is always the scariest part. Of me. It is scary, but you can always just fix it, you know. Yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. Woo. Feels nice and wet. 
All right, cool. I'm gonna go finish your other eye off camera and we'll be right back. Loves it. Yes, and that is both eyes done. Bitch, you look stunning. Yeah, I feel snatched. Mm, let's dust you off. Okay. I remember like when we were like getting ready and I was like getting to know more about you, more than like, more than I already knew. <laughs> yeah. um, and you were telling me about like your life story. And like it's it's interesting seeing like you know someone like you, a trailblazer. Oh. You know, be so open about your story on on television because mm -hmm. not everyone has to like the courage to go on TV and like be that stunning like you. Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like I um all my friends around me are just so online um, open angels, and they I kind of was just like LA raised around that it's something to be proud of and something to be open about because you being open about your story can help so many other people. So I oh. was just, I was so excited to bring everyone along with me on my transition. And then when I was um, asked to be on Drag Race, I was like, this is the best chance I could ever have in my life to open up conversations that have never been told on this platform. So I was, I'm just, I'm so happy that I'm able to share my story and hopefully help people. You know, and if, if, even if um, people don't agree with what I do, say or do about my transition, which is interesting, like, okay, but right. <laughs> disagreeing with my transition, but you know, it still is bringing up like the conversation and I have never seen like as many conversations about trans men, like male transitions mm -hmm. in my life. So I'm like, you know, even if you don't like it, you're talking about it and that's so important. So yeah, yeah. I love that. Me too. Work this trailblazer. Yes. I just like to marry all that shit together and drench you in that. <gasps> like drench. Is that water in there? It's water mixed with setting spray. I find that it works really well for me. What? Yeah, you don't do that. No. So, okay, so the <laughs> gang is like, my Anastasia was running low, so I was like, fuck, and I had to like spray down my face. So I mixed it with water, and then ever since then, I was like, oh my God. And my mug stays on like, all night and it refreshes and it melts everything to the skin. It just works. It's like, you know, there's no better blending brush than like your finger. There's no better setting spray than water. I'm gonna tell myself that. So I'm just gonna bronze you up real quick before we go in with some blush. For oh. someone who literally paints their face clown white every second, I just love a blush. Do you not do blush uh, regularly? Mm -mm, not with my clown white face, but if I do skin tone, I do. Mm. I used to never wear blush. People tell me that all the time and I never understand that. It's just like everything already looks gorgeous. You're like, why add a color when I look stunning? <laughs> and then I started getting to blush, and I was like, oh. And you were like, yes. Yes. <laughs> and actually, you know, before we want to go blush real quick, I'm just gonna go in and um, snatch up your nose with just powder. Yeah. Hmm. We don't all have a candy muse nose gorge. Babes, it would be so large. <laughs> All right, there's some blush. Do you remember my Hank and Harry blushes with me? Yes, I did. Pink blush with blue eyes and red lips. That was very hooker. We're gonna go with that. Bitch, that is bright. Oh! Woo! I'm scared. I'm nervous. Don't be. Okay. That's a good brunch. Thanks, this is Anastasia. Hmm. Um, I love the Anastasia brushes so much, but I can never, like, keep them in one place. Really? Like, I literally always get like a pack of Anastasia brushes, and then like, I don't know, I feel like someone steals them. Maybe my apartment is the culprit, but. Garge! Okay, this is my highlighter, and because you're so fair, we're actually gonna go with the same little metallic moment. To your canvas. I am so happy we got paired for this challenge together. Me too, I'm so happy. You know, like I said, I was a little nervous at the beginning, gal, but I feel like we got it together. And I loved imitating you. Definitely don't think I could handle the online hate that comes with being you, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, someone has to carry the season on their backs. <laughs> and I was so happy to carry it on my back for one night and one night only. One night only. And uh, remember how I told you how I stopped putting powder on my cheeks? Uh-huh. We're not gonna do that tonight. Yeah, I feel like I just love it. No, I feel like you're like a highlighting, like, gorge, like, voila. Mm. I feel like this is the closest my eye makeup has ever kind of gotten to like a taste moment. You know, it kind of looks like that to me. Yeah. Oh! That highlight is fucked. 
It's like, what is that? Maybe I actually should start with highlighter again. Cause looking at it again, I'm like, huh. Well, I just love it. And then a little blush over the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are going to just fill in some eyebrows, draw on some lips. And I need your signature tooth gap. <gasps> yes, yes. I have to dry my teeth. <sighs> Now, I actually like the shade of your brows now. I'm just gonna go um, in with this one, just to like, just the slightest bit of like shadow. Okay. Okay, let's draw some lips. Ooh. Oh, just straight with the. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, and it would've been catching me if we didn't have a gap. Hello. <laughs> Hello, oh! Listen, we are gonna go pop some lashes and do the little final touches, and we will be right back. <laughs> Boom! Well, bitch, this is us with a few wigs on our heads. <laughs> Oh my God, I hope that you enjoyed this transformation video of me turning Mick into Candy Muse. Bitch, I am so excited that Got Muse was reunited. Same. Oh, you look so gorge. I feel gorge. I mean, it's a little more womanly than I'm used to, but I'm living. You're giving me like pop star vibes. I am. Right? Yeah. Oh, I love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Also, bitch, if you have not seen Mick turning me into Got Mick, make sure you head over to her channel and bitch, get into it. Now, this is my first video, so if you would like to see me back on YouTube, bitch, let me know. Comment down below, let me know what you wanna see. Make sure you share this video, click that thumbs up button, follow, purr. Purr. Oh, my God, I'm so happy. I know, I love you so much. Thanks I love you. Guys. I'm so happy I was your first fan. Mm, you know, me too. Mm. Also, don't forget you can buy these shirts online. Thank you. Oh, yeah. MyBuzzDudy.com. Mm. <laughs> All right. Got Muse, signing off. Bye.